फ्रेंड्स I wish you all a very very happy Women's Day. And I know all of you on my channel are really working hard towards the Twin Flame Union or towards the Ascension process because you'll have the awareness of class basically. Okay, so today I'm going to throw some light on uh, the current situation regarding women awareness and what some of the issues that women face. Okay, and today's uh, video will be on the general issues and the solutions uh, for women empowerment okay so being twin flames we have we have the responsibility of women's empowerment both me and my twin okay we know that we have this mission but before before we embark on this mission we have to kind of uh, be in fugitive mode and go into the 3d matrix and figure out what the issues are okay so that is one of the reasons why we take on the karma and why we live in this karmic timelines okay so that we can figure out the issues so that we can find out the issues all the loopholes in the system okay so women's empowerment basically cannot be solved these issues cannot be solved at the administration level okay these problems cannot be solved until the human being is transformed until the human being is healed okay so there is a saying no self transformation is like the biggest form of transformation okay because the community community can transform only if the self transforms okay and one thing that i have really noticed is it's not just men that create issues for women wherever you can go you can go in workplaces you can go in uh, neighborhoods you can go in families and see that is not just men that create issues for women it is the woman wounded women what we call the shadow feminine the distorted feminine that is the aspect of society of the collective a uh, feminine energy that has to be healed that creates the issues for women okay not just the male so all the feminist out there all the feminism movement yeah it is helpful to highlight the issues that women face in society i'm not against feminism but that doesn't bring us to the solution okay because most of the women who are into this feminism movement they themselves are lacking in feminine energy they themselves are carrying the and operating from the shadow feminine because if you look and observe those feminist they themselves are operating from the distorted masculine the polarized masculine energy okay and so when they see a true feminine sometimes they are inspired by her sometimes they triggered by her you getting me so not everyone who calls them a fem Uh, like you know feminist is really standing in her healed balanced feminine okay because my feminine energy i remember healed in 2019 okay my divine feminine completely healed and balanced in 2019 when i had star seed activation okay and my kundalini was staying raised in my crown chakra for a couple of months like two three months and then the uh, divine masculine balancing started okay but my divine feminine was completely balanced in uh, 2019 okay so that said let me come back to the issues of women empowerment in society okay the main issue that we as twin flames are tackling is codependency okay the other uh, currently where i am living right now in varanasi there is a very big and world famous university is the biggest residential university in asia called banaras hindu university okay so i was speaking with a few students from banaras hindu university and two of them were lawyers i think and there were around four of them and we were talking about codependency okay so women are facing a lot of codependency issues okay and if these issues remain in an unresolved state they get repressed in the subconscious and once these issues are repressed in the subconscious the woman herself turns into a shadow feminine so she she builds up coping mechanisms which turn her into a shadow feminine okay and then she begins to operate from those patterns okay and then what happens is the she starts projecting the same unhealed issues on the other people 
on the other women in her office, on the other other women living in her surroundings, or whatever it is. Okay, so it is an unhealed woman that creates wounding in another woman. Okay, this issue can be clearly seen in the mother daughter relationship, or the mother in law daughter in law relationship. Okay, or the female boss and uh, worker relationship, employee relationship, whatever relationships that women have with each other. You know, until the shadow feminine is healed in the collective feminine, women can never come to a place of empowerment. Okay, because empowerment is not a shallow surface thing. Empowerment is the deeper journey. Empowerment of women happens in 5D. It doesn't happen in the 3D matrix. You're getting me? The 3D matrix is a prison matrix where people are wounded, souls are fragmented and they are like zombies trying to eat each other. Okay, so where can we get women empowerment in a sick society okay so the first thing is personal transformation okay that is one thing that i would like to tell that's one solution to come to a place of women empowerment the second solution that i want to talk about is awareness in society okay today i'm going to give you two solutions to come to a place of women's empowerment okay the number one is personal transformation investing in yourself healing your own issues so that they don't become repressed and uh, fragmented within your psyche and so that you don't start projecting these aspects unconsciously because these aspects come out unconsciously and sometimes even when you're conscious that you're playing out these roles you're not able to control it okay and later on the next stages you kind of surround yourself with similar type of people so it becomes even more difficult to come out of those patterns okay that is called the karmic monad Okay, at that point, it, it really gets tough, tough to break these patterns because even if you break these patterns, you still keep getting the karma, the negative karma back. So, you're kind of stuck till that entire karmic debt is cleared until through a grace of guru or through enough inner work, you're able to raise your kundalini and clear the debt and clear your karmic monad. That is why kundalini is given such an important status in the spiritual journey. Okay, because only Kundalini can free you from the deep mug that you get stuck in. Okay, you cannot do it on your own. There is a limit to how much you can do on your own. Okay, you need a grace of a guru or you need to just spend, spend those years that I did. Okay, like I didn't have a guru but I spent a lot of years in doing my inner work. Okay, so I know the ins and out and you can come to me for a session. Okay, so let me come to the second issue today, second solution of this women empowerment topic today. The second solution is awareness of class in society. Okay, see there was a time, okay, in ancient history, in an ancient world where class was determined by your level of enlightenment, by your level of chakra balance, okay. Nowadays, class is determined by your band balance, your degrees and whom you know and which politician you know. I mean, just look at our politicians, yeah. They, do, they don't have class, okay. Do they have a balanced chakra system, okay. And the politicians always mirror the average level of the consciousness. So, if the average level of consciousness goes down, guess what kind of politicians and leaders we are going to get, okay. So, the People who are awakening, the people who are high in consciousness are few. Okay, so we have to increase the amount or the quantity or what word can I use? We can increase the number of people that are awakening. Okay, so that the average awakened, awakened people in society rise. Okay, so that the class rises. Okay, because class is very important. If you're roaming around with a damaged chakra system, projecting your issues on each other at the workplace, projecting your issues on children, projecting your issues on neighbors, okay, getting sick yourself because you don't know how to work on your chakra system, then where's the class, my friend? Okay, see, as human beings, be it a woman or be it a man, okay, let's just take example of a woman, okay. We are not trained into self-respect. We are not trained into self-love. 
through the traumas that we go through we build a kind of a divorced relationship with self where we live with that identity of not loving self where we live with that identity of not respecting self okay a healthy individual has to be an individual where at night when you are sleeping you should be able to love and respect yourself you should be able to forgive yourself okay you should be in that state of you shouldn't be perfect but you should have a relationship with yourself of unconditional love and respect okay because only when you respect yourself can you respect and love another person so who is responsible to build these kinds of values or what we call in our hindi language sanskar who is responsible for this okay the mother right so who is supposed to give this woman empowerment who is supposed to do the empowerment the mother so the role of the mother is so important in women empowerment and again it's not about women it's about human being because both men and women have masculine and feminine energies okay both men and women have masculine and feminine energies and if your feminine is wounded you're not going to respect the feminine energy outside if your masculine is wounded you're going to hate the masculine energy outside and become a feminist okay hating men okay this is not about hating men this is about healing the masculine and feminine and balancing this aspects within yourself okay and coming to that state of balanced balanced perspective okay so i was talking about class okay in today's society class is determined by your financial status your degrees the kind of people you know the locality you live in okay class should be determined by your chakra system balance okay and people only awakened people can sense this unawakened people cannot sense this okay and that is the reason this matrix has put people in a sleep state in an unawakened state so that they cannot discern between class and imitation of class okay finances are required degrees are very important knowing influential people is also important okay but that is kind of the next layer it is like the superficial layer you know the real class is the health or the stench of the chakra system that you are moving around with okay because it's a real type of a stench because uh, people with a damaged chakra system they have entity attachments okay and those with a uh, healthy chakra system with the open chakras with the open third eye they can see the entities okay they can feel the dark aura around you they can tell which people are psychic vampires which people are polarized energy field and which people are healthy you're getting me so this awareness has to grow in society do we have a society today where we check the chakra system of the leaders do we have a society today where balanced chakras is the standard of our politicians forget the politicians even the leaders that we choose at different levels administrative levels okay do we actually have this balanced chakra system as the standard no and i am talking like this because i am of the future i am a star seed and it is my job to create the vision for the future because only this can heal this matrix this talk might seem a little bit off of normal for you okay that is because you're listening to a star seed okay and we don't belong to the 3d matrix we belong to the 5d timelines okay and that is why we have the right to teach you about what class is okay i'm not against finances i'm not against a status determined by degrees or the people that you know or the locality where you live but the basis is your chakra system is the health of your chakra system okay like Uh, previously when there was a boom in the industry okay like the cosmetic industry okay every everyone was about just buying cosmetics but now people are more aware okay they are more aware about using natural products okay eco friendly products it is the same kind of change that we need in the mental emotional level of people okay so this these two solutions that i have given you today number 1 working on yourself investing on yourself okay go take that session okay do your shadow work okay that is the first thing stop projecting your unresolved issues on others okay come 
come to a integrated state okay and from that integrated state spread your mission spread your work in society okay don't propagate your issues in society in your workplace in your neighborhood in your home okay with your family members with your friends don't be like a zombie infecting other people with the shit that you have in your chakras okay work on yourself okay that is class okay and that is the only solution for women empowerment administrative the people who are on the administrative level i have interacted with them okay when they themselves are carrying so much of pain inside themselves so much of lack of self respect lack of self love low self worth how can they help you how can, how much can they help you okay they will just do something superficial to maintain their post in society okay and this society can never heal that way from the administration level personal transformation is the only way to women's empowerment okay if you look at the issue that a single woman faces in society it is literally impossible to become successful on your own until and unless you come from a very high class family if you come from a high class family it's very good for you but i'm we are here to support and uplift people that come from the middle class family okay so we have to go into that level and figure it out okay we have to figure out the issues of the woman who is on the middle class level okay and why she gets into codependency and karmic relationships okay because if the society is so unsupportive of a woman like a middle class woman okay then obviously codependency she cannot come out of it right how can she come out of codependency so we have to make sure that the society changes and the way is personal transformation and a sense of class awareness which is your balanced chakra system okay so this is what i have to share with you for today i hope you all take this message very seriously women empowerment is totally possible but it is only possible when women stop projecting their issues on each other okay because it is the true queens that support each other you understand okay everybody can wear a crown okay everybody can wear a crown and in 5d it's a different system it is not about uh, that uh, what you say that monopoly it is not about the monopoly it is not about the hierarchy 5d is a very different system okay and women empowerment only happens in a 5d awakened society because to come to a state of women empowerment the unconscious mind has to be healed okay people have to come to awakened state okay so if you like my video today please give it a thumbs up please share it please subscribe to my channel if you feel guided to you can make a donation i've given my link or my google pay link is given below my whatsapp link is given below and these are not portals to chat with me i don't have time okay these are portals where you can thank me you can give me a donation okay if you want to order portraits i also take portrait commissions but they will only be charcoal portraits you getting me and if you want a session please please feel free to contact me on whatsapp i'm available for sessions now i'm open for sessions now i wasn't open a few months back when i was working on myself i was really busy i was not allowed to but right now i'm open for sessions you can contact me on whatsapp don't call me i might not receive the call and you can book a session with me okay i do coaching sessions i do i help you with direction in your life soul purpose twin flame relationship karmic relationship self esteem issues uh, you know releasing from a breakup okay health issues and whatever else we can talk about and if there's something that i cannot help you with uh, then i will let you know about it and you can refer go to a different healer who's more trained than me because i'm in the process of transitioning right now i was uh, teaching art and now i'm shifting into my life purpose my soul purpose which is the healing arts all right but i still take uh, portrait commissions uh, you can contact me for that contact me for sessions and of course you can make a donation so this is the message that i have to share with you for today and i hope all of you all make the efforts to create a society where women are empowered okay and this dream can only come true when you heal yourself from codependency 
okay and that is what the twin flame union requires because you cannot have the union as long as you are in the codependency why so step one you heal your codependency okay step two you teach others how to heal your codependency and step three please you have class okay it's it's really depressing to see people who are not aware of their chakra system okay it's depressing to see people roaming around with entities and you know so many blockages in their chakras so anyways uh, i'll stop my snobby behavior right now <laughs> and i will see you next time but guys this is my purpose okay and i'm here to do this and i will continue doing this so i will see you again next time and happy women's day to all of you lots of love